Yo, what's up guys? In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a Windows tool that's gonna help you boost the FPS, reduce delay, and make your whole gaming experience feel way smoother. So make sure you watch all the way to the end because you don't wanna miss this. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is go to your browser and search external tweaks or com, and then hit enter. Once you do that, you'll be taken to our website. So now what you're gonna do is click on join Discord, and then wait for it to load, and then click on accept invite. And then once you go to our Discord server, Go all the way down until you see download. Click on download here. And then what you wanna do here is complete these two steps so you can get the utility. Okay, so now what you wanna do, just click on unlock link and it should start the download and should look just like this. So now go to downloads and drag it to your desktop. Then now what you wanna do is right click and then press extract hold, then extract. Once it's done, it should look like this. Now open it up and just click um, run as admin. And then if this pops up just click on more info and then run anyway now it should look like this just click on download now install and it should start downloading okay so once you're done now what you want to do is log in you can log in through discord google or you can sign up with just a username so you don't need an account but well, obviously i'm just gonna go through google and then all you have to do is just i mean through discord and then all you have to do is just click on authorize and then it should take like two seconds and then you should be done and then just press ok and then you should be in the utility so obviously as you can see here we got a new app and then i'll just go through everything we have here so we got a review section obviously like last time just click on this to see all the pro reviews and then just on click to see all the reviews and then yeah so this is a new update and we got new features which i'll go through right now so now let's go through the optimization so when you go here and you go to the general tab you go windows tweaks which basically optimize your windows and they're all pretty much safe to apply so you can just apply all of them there's performance privacy and speed efficiency like they're separate into sections so it's much easier to apply so let's do the performance and fps So this pro section is only for pro users, so people who buy the pro tweaks. So obviously you can see you got pro tweaks for all the sections. These are all of them. And you got many, many more to come. So then now after doing the Windows tweak, you can move on to latency. So latency is basically latency tweaks, which obviously if you want to benchmark, you can use latency mon or XPF or whatever app of your choosing. But then now you can just apply the tweaks. Just click on apply here. And then after this, just apply all these tweaks. Now this set timer resolution basically sets timer resolution for you automatically so you don't have to do those extra steps. Once you're done it should look just like this and I just press ok. Now we can move on to the KBM section. So I would recommend just leave this as default unless you want to manually change it you can but then you don't have to. So you can just apply this keyboard tweaks and then we can move on to power. Now, once you're here, just do the same thing. Just apply all the tweaks. That will be safe to apply. So then now we have network. So I made it easy for you guys to apply network tweaks. I don't worry guys, I'll fix this thing. It's just a little bug. Anyways, so what you want to do here is just click on apply. And then once you apply, you will choose the best DNS for your PC. So for example, mine is squad nine. But obviously I prefer using Google because it's obviously the most stable so I'm going to stick with Google. So next is ping and data settings. So basically these are your network ticks. So obviously I have Wi-Fi, we have Ethernet, just choose Ethernet but I have Wi-Fi. Now just give me a second to load. So now what you want to do here is basically whenever you apply um select each tweak there should be like a recommended value if it doesn't have a recommended value you don't have to necessarily change it so offload you disable it um disabled 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 sorry disabled and i and i disabled 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 And then once you've done all of these, just untick this and give it a second to load, then hit apply. 
and then these are the tweaks that i selected and just press yes yes and then it should automatically apply and restart your network adapter and then boom it's back on it's like this so now after this what you want to do is um the rest of the network tweaks so you can apply them Once you're done with the general section, you can move on to the hardware. Just give it a second to load. And then we're into the hardware. So this is your CPU power. Let me just put it to the max. Click apply. This one, this won't cause any um, temperature issues, so it's safe to apply. Now we got power plan. So you could delete default plans, but you don't have to. I already have them here, but you don't have to delete them. So what I want you to do is just click on import external power plan i'm just going to delete this one that i have right here doesn't work but i'll fix it so so what you want to do here is just hit it to the max and I click apply and then now just import the external power plan and then once it's imported it should look just like this external free plan and just click this and click apply and it should apply the power plan now what you need to do is just apply the rest of the tweaks after this you can move to the gpu section where you can apply your gpu tweaks just save to the max again apply and then just apply these tweaks this tweak basically and um do the external net power for you so once you click this it's gonna do it automatically if you wait a second boom it just applies it for you automatically then just press ok then now we come over to the um ssd hd and ram so for this just do the same thing just apply the, all of them this may take a little long but it should done it should be done like this and then just press ok now we come over to the next section server boosters server boosters for people who boost the server so if you boost the server just like this you server boost you're gonna be able to unlock this when you press this but since we don't have um, server boosters, unfortunately, we're going to move on to the next section. So now this is game booster. So for this, just select the game that you usually play. I play Fortnite, then you just click on Fortnite. And then it's going to start playing Fortnite. Tweaks. Just give it a second to load. So now we have BIOS tweaks. So obviously BIOS tweaks is for pro users. So... Obviously, we're not going to be showcasing it today because we're trying to focus on the free version. But now we're going to move on to deep load. So just click on scan now and just give it a second to load. Okay, so once this is loaded, you should see this. So you got OneDrive calculator Microsoft Store. So I would just recommend to uninstall everything but Microsoft Store because you might need it in the future if anything happens to your PC. But if I were to just uninstall OneDrive and just give it like a couple seconds to load. So once it's done, it should look like this. On the commands executed for one app. Press OK. And then it might not disappear here, but if you click rescan, it should disappear. So now we're gonna move on to apps. So these are the bloat apps. So this debloats Microsoft Edge and the OBS, and you can uninstall them if you want. Uh just because I'm recording, I'm not I'm not gonna press it. OBS or not or the edge. So you're just gonna move to the next section. But I do recommend just debloating, debloating. So now we're going to services so there's a couple few services you can disable and then there's more in the back section but they're for pro users the reason why there's not many is because um disability services doesn't really give you a much of an fps boost so it's not really worth doing it but if you want to have lower processes then just click on disable i've already disabled them but you want to click on disable and then you should disable the service so now we're going to move into clean section just give it a second to load and then it should look like this so what you want to do is just click on all of these and then just click on clean selected and then once you do that it's gonna take a while but it's gonna start cleaning your pc all these files and then it should be done so once you're done it should once you're done it should look like this and just press ok and then it should have cleared mainly everything if there is some leftover maybe the app does have enough permissions but don't worry about it so if it doesn't work it should have cleared pretty much most of the file content so you'd have to do it again 
So then once you're done, just click on fixes. Yeah, so once you're done, this is just fixes. So if there's any issues in your PC, you just click on any and then it should fix anything, but it's not any bugs in this. So when we go into services, make sure you don't mass apply every tweak for the advanced section to be fair. But then for the safe version, if don't press this if you don't if you want Bluetooth to work. That's pretty much it. So then yeah. So thank you guys for watching the video. If you want to make a review, you can do one just like this. Just click on five star. You can write your review. Just click on send and it should send the review. And then make sure you restart your PC once you're done. And then yeah. So then yeah, thank you guys for watching the video and see you in the next one.